All right, here we go with the season finale from Lanier, Matt Hayden, and Matt, but it's the Matt front row. Chris Johnson, Kyle Martin on the second row, Dylan Kalen, Edmund Jones have the third row, Jim Johnson, Michael Cray on the fourth row, Harold Rothery and Joey Smith rounding out the top ten. Fred Hool and Wyatt Lowry, 11th and 12th. 13th will be Waylon Turner, Jimmy Fitzmaurice back in fourth plate, 14th. Timmy Martin, 15th. Frank Klein is 16th. Terry Duguay, 17th. Michael Newton starting in 18th. Kyle LaFever in 19th. Hunter Lovelady in 20th. And Casey Pacala starts in 21st. Casey never took to the track for qualifying. We'll have to see. Can he fight his way all the way from the back to get up there and get the win? Barney the Flagman sim signals they'll go green next time. This promises to be an exciting non-stop battle around this track. Even if the field gets spread out, this track is so small. At three-eighths of a mile, you're always racing with somebody. Here they come out of four green flag in the air. They're down and away for the season finale from Lanier. And already we've got an incident. Wyatt Lowry involved. Caution out. What happened to Wyatt on the start here? Off into, oh, he drove. Had a massive run into the back of Joey Smith. Looks like there might have been further incidents. Let's take a quick look. We're looking at Jim Johnson. And it looks like Jim might have just gotten a little love tap as they went through. The whole field had to check up. Matt Hayden still holds the lead. Matt Bear in second. Matt Hayden driving with oven mitts and Matt Bear, the Mad Bear, to the outside. I think oven mitts might be the safest way to handle the Mad Bear. Chris Johnson in third, Kyle Martin fourth, Dylan Kalen fifth, Edmund Jones sixth, Jim Johnson in seventh, Harold Rothery in eighth, Michael Cray in ninth, and Joey Smith holds on to tenth. Biggest mover so far, Hunter Lovelady is up six spots from 20th to 14th. He might be one to watch very closely going into the next season. Going single file on the restart pace car is in. Green is in the air, they're down and away, and Matt Hayden, massive jump off into turn one. Matt Bear in second, can't keep up yet. Chris Johnson in third, Kyle Martin in fourth, all of them trying to run down Matt Hayden. Matt Bear just ran the fastest lap so far, and then Frank Klein beat it. As they come up to speed in a couple of laps, once the heat's in these tires, we'll really start to see some fast laps. Matt Hayden out front's about to have a Mad Bear right behind him and looked like Bear was looking to the outside for a moment. If Matt can get to the outside of Matt and pin him down, he might be able to get make something happen with the momentum off the high side. But Matt Hayden just looked like he cranked it up another gear. 
Meanwhile, Hunter Lovelady, we talked about him, he was up six spots right before the restart, now up seven. Up to 13th place, trying to run down Frank Klein. Jimmy Fitzmaurice up three spots from 14th to 11th. Jim Johnson back in ninth, has dropped back a couple spots now. Joey Smith looking underneath. Oh, a little bit of a tap as Joey goes up the track. And now Jim really getting roughed up. Edmund Jones starting to make his way forward. He is up to fifth after starting in caution. Looks like Jimmy Fitzmaurice evolved as well as Frank Klein. That puts us under the second caution of the night. Let's see what happens here. Looking at Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy just had nowhere to go as the 66 checked up. The 66 just got in too deep and and they kept banging and the 73 ends up in the inside. 73 of Frank Klein. Harold Rothery, I believe, nope. And so far, it looks like Hunter Lovelady is now at 10 spots. Started in 20th, up to 10th on the move here tonight. Several new teams forming as well at the end of the season. Look for the next season to be uh, packed full of some of the best drivers on iRacing. As the lights go out on the pace car, it is still Matt Hayden and Matt Bear on the front row. Chris Johnson, Kyle Martin have the second row. Edmund Jones and Michael Cray now make up the third row. Joey Smith, Jim Johnson on the fourth. Harold or Hunter Lovelady and Timmy Martin round out the top ten. Here we go. Pace car is in. Matt Hayden controls the restart. He catches him napping again. Off into turn one, Matt Barrick manages to drop down to the bottom and catch up. And look at Kyle Martin up on the high side. He is sending it into the corner. Waylon Turner, Dylan Kalen had some problems on the restart. Looks like Dylan was having... Waylon had some problems getting up to speed, but Dylan Kalen, caution, is back out on the racetrack. And this one looked like it might have caught a few more drivers. Let's see if we can see what happened. Looks like Edmund Jones and Chris Johnson involved. There is Edmund Joey Smith right behind him. Oh, a big checkup up front and half the field. Look, we saw a car yeet himself down into pit road. There's Chris Johnson in the 18. Let's see what happened there. I have no idea what in the world. It looked like Matt Bear might have had some sort of issue. Either Matt Bear or Matt Hayden, one of the top two. Oh, Matt Hayden is a bobble off four. Matt Bear, just nowhere to go. Matt Hayden gets spun around. And chaos ensues. So now it is Matt Bear to the lead, in which you look who's in second place. Probably the luckiest driver on the track here tonight. Started in 20th. Up to second, Hunter Lovelady is putting on a show. Jim Johnson in third, Fred Hool in fourth, and Casey Pacala started dead last, didn't qualify, now up into fifth. Kyle Martin back to sixth, Michael Newton up 11 spots into seventh, Kyle 
the Fever up 11 spots into 8th, Joey Smith in 9th, and Timmy Martin in 10th. Heard Kyle Martin say during the pre-race, wreck avoidance would be key here tonight. That is definitely proving true. Three-eighths of a mile track and uh, not a lot of room out there for these big powerful mods. Lights are back out on the pace car. Matt Bear will control the restart, but watch that car on the outside. Hunter Lovelady is charging forward. Pace car is in. Matt Bear controls it. Green flag is in the air. They're down and away. Matt Bear manages to get a good jump on the restart. They were three wide, and we've got, I think that was Terry Duguay. No, that was Fred Hool that ended up going around on the restart. Looked like there were some problems in the middle of one and two. Let's see what happened to Fred. There you see Fred up top. It looks like he might have gotten a little bit loose. Tried to save it, and everybody behind him gets caught. Timmy Martin got caught. Kyle Martin might have caught a piece of this. Oh, Kyle managed to get stopped before he got to the mess. It looks like Kyle may actually be going to the tail end of the field. He might be taking responsibility for that incident. Definitely not what Kyle Martin wanted here tonight. Came in tonight with a 45-point lead over Dylan Kalen and Casey Pekela. Casey now up into fifth. Nope, Kyle staying up in fourth place. About a third of the way through this race, already a few cautions, a few incidents, and a few drivers possibly done for the night. Definitely out of contention. Fred Hull, Timmy Martin, Chris Johnson. As the lights go out on the pace car, it looks like we're going to go single file again. Pace car is in. Green flag is back in the air. Down and away is Matt Bear. Good jump off into turn one. Jim Johnson now all the way up into third. Kyle Martin still holding fourth with Casey Pekela in fifth. Hunter Lovelady will be one to watch closely in season three. Already picking up 18 spots. Oh, Kyle Martin down underneath Jim Johnson now. Casey Pekela is going to follow him through. Joey Smith also closing up. Can Jim Johnson get down to the bottom and shut the door? He can't yet. He manages to slide in behind Casey. Kyle LeFever back in seventh. Dylan Kalen in eighth. Terry Duguay in ninth. Michael Newton, another driver, up a lot of spots into 10th. We've got a car around in the middle of turn four. No caution. I believe it was Waylon Turner. Looks like off into three and four. Oh, it looks like in turn four, Waylon just got bumped and spun. Manages to get down to the bottom. Meanwhile, up front, Matt Bear still out front, has a 1.1 second lead. Over Hunter Lovelady and a bunch, oh, a big wreck. Kyle Martin involved, caution. 
Jim Johnson involved in this one with Kyle Martin has the nose down. Oh! Looked like he had the nose in. Kyle didn't know he was there. They got together. Then the stack up behind. Edmund Jones caught in it. Kyle Lefevre, Dylan Kalen. Dylan Kalen comes flying around. It happens right in front of him. He tries to avoid it. Just ran out of places to go. And that looks like the case for a lot of drivers back behind. Tonight's race might be decided simply by attrition. Matt Bear, since taking the lead, has been unbeatable so far. Can he hold on to it, though, as we reach the halfway point? Restarts have been the key here tonight. Matt Bear still has a little damage from tangling with uh, Matt Hayden earlier in the race. Looking to see if we'll have a waiver, and I believe it'll be Jimmy Fitzmaurice. A lot of cars have been to pit road, gotten repaired as the lights go out on the pace car, but a lot of cars no longer on the lead lap. Pace car is in, here they go again. Matt Bear gets another good jump. Green flag in the air. Hunter Lovelady in second. Stays right on his back bumper. Casey Pekela in third. Oh, Casey drives almost into the back bumper of Hunter Lovelady. Casey has definitely got a run here. They get really close through one and two. Down in three and four, Casey all the way to the bottom. Joey Smith pulls up on the back bumper of Casey. Trying to go through the door that Casey is open. He clears Hunter Lovelady. Caution is out back behind Fred Hool and Terry Dugay involved. Oh, Fred just gets in a lot deeper than Terry does on that one. They managed to wash up the track. Only one other car collected. I believe it. That was Jimmy Fitzmaurice, and Jimmy, uh, I'm not sure if that was accidental or if Jimmy was uh, showing some displeasure. There's an easy way to tell, though. Let's see that again. inside Jimmy Fitzmaurice's car and let's see what happened there oh yeah he was trying to save it tried to stay out of the other driver it just looked a little sketchy at the moment Matt Bear still has the lead Casey Bekela now in second Joey Smith in third Hunter Lovelady got shuffled back into fourth and Michael Cray now up to fifth Michael Newton, who started in 18th, now up to 6th. Jim Johnson, 7th. Terry Dugay, 8th. And Dylan Kalen in 9th. Kyle Lefevre is the first car one lap down in 10th. Just past halfway, we knew with the season finale, everybody was going to be going for it. Last chance to qualify for the All-Star Race, but who knew they were going to try three and four wide in these cars? We saw it in the Legends cars, but man, these are... It's a bit crazy to try that in these.
Here we go again. Pace car is in. Casey Pekela on the high side, but Matt Barrett gets another good jump. Pekela down to the bottom. Joey Smith tries to get the nose in for second. Can't get there. And look at Hunter Lovelady sending it on the high side. He's coming back toward the front, back behind. They're still battling for every pos. Oh, we've got Hunter Lovelady around. Caution. Hunter was really pushing hard up on the high side. Let's see what happened. Oh, he just, he tried to check up not to get in the back of Joey Smith. Just couldn't save it. As fast as he's been, though, I would not, I came from Hunter Lovelady. Started in 20th, currently in 9th. Expect to see him come back toward the front before the night's out. Fred Hool is back off pit road. Matt Hayden still on pit road trying to get that car fixed and back out it looks like. Hunter Lovelady is in for repairs. Not sure if he'll be back out or not. Matt Bear with the lead. Casey Pekela in second. Joey Smith in third. Michael Cray in fourth. Jim Johnson now in fifth. Michael Newton, Dylan Kalen, and Terry Duguay rounding out the car. Eight cars left on the lead lap. In a bit of a rough race, even when they're not totally wrecking, these guys have been banging on each other awfully hard tonight, knowing it's the last shot they have at the All-Star event. And remember, we'll have all the All-Star information posted on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook later tonight. You're not going to want to miss out on that two weeks from tonight. Pace car is in. Matt Bear in control. Green flag in the air. Everybody's away. Michael Cray just flies by on the high side around Jim Johnson. Pulls up into fourth and is side by side for second as Joey Smith trying to find a way around Casey Pekela. Casey up top trying to get a run on Matt Bear. I think Matt Bear is probably smiling. Caution is out again. And it looks like Michael Newton and Harold Rothery involved. Kyle Martin comes by underneath Michael Newton. And it looked like Michael Newton got a really bad push in the middle of the turn. As everybody checked up, Harold Rothery ended up going around and ending up in the back, in the, uh, backed into the wall. They were three, oh, they were three wide, and Harold Rothery got the short end of the stick on that one. Matt Bear still has the best view in the house, currently in the lead. They'll have less than 20 laps to go when the green flag drops. Matt Bear in the lead. Joey Smith now up to second. And Joey has had a rough night. I think he's been banged into by just about everybody on the track. He's been punted a few times, managed to hold on to it, and it is definitely paying off here. Uh, Casey Pekela in third, Michael Cray in fourth, and Jim Johnson in fifth. Points leader Kyle Martin in tenth.
Kyle is a lap or two down at the moment, doing what he has to to maintain his championship. As they come around, should be getting one to green this time by. Lights are out on the pace car. Matt Bear, Joey Smith up front. Casey Pekela, Michael Cray on the second row. Jim Johnson, Dylan Kalen now up to the third row. Terry Duguay and Michael Newton rounding out the cars on the lead lap. Hunter Lovelady is in the lucky dog position now. Green flag back in the air. Off into turn one, side by side, all the way around the track. And it's getting a little bit sketchy mid-pack. As up front, Joey Smith has gotten shuffled back. Casey Pekela now up into second place. Michael Cray now in third. Joey manages to slip back down into fourth as Jim Johnson and Dil Dylan Kalen battle it out. Matt Bear unable to pull away from Pekela so far. 14 laps to go here. Terry DeGay in seventh. Michael Newton in eighth. Both of those drivers up 10 spots each. Kyle Martin there. And, oh, Kyle! Hold on to it, buddy. I think he did a little too much drift practice and, uh, and some of it kind of kicked in there, but at least he was able to save it. Kyle Martin and Hunter Lovelady, that is actually a battle for tenth, or for ninth and tenth place. As Matt Bear has gotten passed by Joey. Let's see that pass for the lead by Joey Smith. And it looks like the two leaders tangle up in three and four. Joey quickly reacts to the high side, slides on by. Matt Bear now back in fourth, still battling it out with lap traffic and the other leaders. Meanwhile, Joey Smith has opened up a half second lead over Pekela. Dylan Kalen now in third. Casey Pekela and Dylan Kalen. Uh, Casey and Dylan are running for second and third in points. Whichever one of them finishes ahead in this battle will get that spot in the points as well. Joey Smith is going to come around and get five laps to go. Can he hold these two off? Five to go for Joey Smith, but Casey Bekela, Dylan Kalen. Breathing down his throat and lap traffic not far ahead. Here comes the lap traffic into play. The lap car goes up to the high side. Let's the leaders by to battle it out. Casey really gets a major run into the turn. Joey seems to have a little bit of an advantage off. Oh, Casey almost got the nose in that time. And Dylan is just waiting to pounce here. Popsicle sticks are in the air. It is two to go. Joey Smith in the lead. Can he hold him off a little while longer? White flag is in the air for Joey Smith. Can he get it done for the first time this season? Down into turn three. Casey tries to send it in deep. He looks to the high side. Dylan Kalen jumps to the bottom for second, but Joey Smith pulls off the win here at Lanier. Casey Pekela finishes second. Dylan couldn't get there and finishes third. Casey also finishing second in points. Dylan finishing third. Matt Bear comes home fourth. Jim Johnson is fifth. Kyle Martin comes home eighth with a championship.
Let's see if we can talk to our top three. I don't see Dylan available. There he is. Hey, Dylan, this is Doug in the booth. You got me? Yes, sir. Hey, that was definitely a wild one, and it looked like you were going to get second place right there at the end. Yeah, it was close. Um, I wasn't trying to push the issue too bad. I didn't want to wreck. I think I should be somewhere pretty good up there in the points. I don't know if I ended up second or first, but, uh, yeah, I just didn't want to do anything stupid there and lose a bunch of spots, so I was kind of just trying to take it easy. Well, here's an interesting thing about this. You and Casey came in tonight tied in the points, so he finished second, get second in points. You finished third, get third in the points tonight. Well, come up a little bit short, but still a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, congratulations, man. It was a great season and a great way to finish it off tonight. Yeah, thank you. Dylan Kalen comes home third in the race, third in points. Let's see if we can get the guy who finished second in the race and second in the points. Hey, Casey, it's Doug. You got me? I got you. Hey, Second place on the track, second place in the points. You got to be happy with the way tonight ended. Yeah, I got to, first off, got to apologize to Matt Bear. I got into him there with, I forget how many it was to go, 10 to go or something like that. I didn't, I wasn't trying to turn him. I tried, I, as soon as I bumped him, I got off the gas hoping that he could straighten himself out. And, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm happy with the second place. Dylan gave me, on that final lap there, I was going to drive that car into the wall. Thank God we don't pay for these things because I was junk in that car just to see if I could squeak out that, you know, tenth of a second or whatever it ended up being at the end there. It was definitely close coming off turn four. It looked like he had the run on you. You just barely managed to hold him off. But you two have had some great battles this season. Looking forward to seeing how the next season goes. Yeah, it's, if, if the racing is anything like the last half of the season has been with, you know, we got some new guys and, you know, some, some old guys, uh, Racing's been fantastic, so if, if season two of this year is anything like this season's been, uh, we're going to put on a show. Well, man, congratulations. A great finish, a great season. Go celebrate, buddy. Will do. Thank you. All right, let's talk to our race winner and then our champion. Hey, Joey, it's Doug. You got me? I got you, Doug. What's up? Hey, man, I've been waiting to say this to you all season. Congratulations. Man, thank you. I, I, I didn't want to see them two get into each other, but selfishly, I was okay with it because <laughs> I was not going to pass them. Uh, I, I kind of figured the first words out of your mouth would be somewhere along the lines of Andrew can suck it, but, you know. Well, lucky enough, he's actually down here, and he, he was excited as I was. While he's like, don't mess this up. Don't you mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you definitely did not mess it up. Dil uh, Dylan and Casey were both sending it that last five laps trying to get to you. Neither one of it could get to you. And I have to say, I don't know how many times you got bumped in the middle of that race, but every time I looked at your car, somebody was banging into you either from the left or from behind, and you still managed to hold that car going the right way and pull off the win tonight. Well, sometimes it takes more uh, uh, luck than skill, and I definitely had more luck than skill tonight, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it took, man, it got you done. It got the win. Congratulations, buddy. Definitely. Thanks, Doug. And let's see if we can get our season champion, Kyle Martin. Hey, Kyle, it's Doug. You got me? I do. Hey, congratulations, man. Obviously not the way you wanted to finish the season, but you still pulled off the championship. You stuck it out. Even after uh, having to go to pit road, you managed to hold it off and uh, get up there, get the top ten, and, and maintain your championship. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have no clue how I managed to pull off a top ten. That was pure luck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, car was great. Uh <laughs> I, I think I cut down in front of Jim there and he couldn't get it stopped in time and that was the uh, incident and then such a small track I think I went a lap down then and then I had to go in the pits and then they went green on me uh, but yeah that was an uh, interesting race 
<laughs> definitely was. Uh, number one. But you have had an awesome season thus far, or throughout the season, and you managed to come home with the championship tonight. You got to be happy about that. No, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I think this is the first time I've used the fast repair since Rockingham in, in a race. <laughs> wow. That's impressive yeah. considering everybody has been wrecked by you. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, because you've made them use up all their fast repairs. That's how that works, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you, you see what's happening. <laughs> I do. I, I've been watching long enough to know. Well, man, uh, congratulations. That was one heck of an awesome season. You definitely earned that championship. Yep, thank you. Uh, congrats to everyone else who uh, did well on the points. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, looking forward to next season. All right, man. We're looking forward to it, too. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys so much. That'll be it from here as Kyle burns those tires off to finish his season off as the Tour Mod champion in the Jones BS Racing League. Don't forget, we'll be posting information about the All-Star event, the next season, how to join, everything you can want on the Instagram, the Twitter, and the Facebook here in just a little bit. You definitely want to check this group out. Great group of guys. Great men. <laughs> Great admins and great fun. Congratulations to both our champions tonight. Congratulations to our winners. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful night.